call attention to this website that I found that's going to become invaluable to me as I uh, as I work on this project to restore this record player. And that is this AmericanRadioHistory.com. It's an enormous resource of uh, amazing material, uh, mostly radio oriented, but uh, because of that, there's a lot of uh, technical information about uh, radios and amplifiers and uh, transmitters and receivers, uh, things like this, you know, consumer electronics and, and so forth. And uh, what led me here was looking for uh, documentation, of course, on the uh, RCA Victor uh, record player that I have, and I found these RCA Victor service notes. And uh, here they are, there's all these uh, different years, and inside there I found exactly what I needed. Isn't this amazing? The RCA Victor model 45EY3 service data. So here is the actual service notes from uh, RCA to share with their uh, service technicians uh, who are, you know, out in the field fixing these things. So it's an amazing resource to have. Um, here's all of the two complement uh, that you can see from my uh, RS-136E is the chassis I have. Um, all the information, you know exactly how to solder everything in. Uh, little little notes about how to dress the <laughs> uh, parts around the sockets uh, for the point to point uh, wiring. Uh, here's the schematics, the full schematics for all three versions. Here's the schematic for mine. Some uh, record changer adjustment. All right, this one is nice. Where do I need to adjust to make the mechanism work? We'll see more about that in a minute. Here's all the replacement parts. Look at this. Here's all the capacitor parts I need. And uh, rubber grommets and everything that we were talking about, right? So all the screws, exactly what size screws they are. <laughs> Although I'm only missing a couple screws. But uh, yeah, this tells me exactly what they are, right? And uh, very nice. And not only that, uh, there's also, this for the uh, electronics part, but for the uh, record changer, here's the RP190, 45 RPM automatic record changer service data. And boy, there's a lot of great information here uh, to get this thing working. As you can see, it's fairly complicated uh, mechanically. Actually, it's, it's surprisingly efficient how <laughs> it works. Uh, I've been playing around with it uh, for the last day or so. But, uh, yeah, uh, I still haven't completely disassembled it, but this goes through step by step exactly how the cycle of operation works, and uh, with little pictures of each of the parts and how they are involved in that particular step of the operation. This is pretty neat how this ratchet wheel, this cycle arm is moving back and forth, and the record player is spinning, which means this uh, ratchet would be spinning too with the spindle. However, uh, when it gets to a certain point, this little stop dog comes in here and engages with this ratchet wheel and stops the wheel from spinning. And then the spindle continues to spin, but the ratchet wheel is not. And that's what causes the little uh, knives and shells on the record exchanger uh, to drop a record, right? So it just holds that just long enough during the spin for one whole spin, about, about one spin. And that's enough for the this whole mechanism, these uh, little things to pinch in the record to fall while the little separator knives hold the remaining records up. And one record falls, and then these come back out, and the little knives come in, and the records fall down on top of this again. So the next record's ready to go. All while it's cycling, just because this arm moves back and forth. <laughs> and it engages that. And so that's a unique way that they uh, use the efficient way uh, to use the same mechanism to do multiple things. There's lots of that in here. There's just this one little can that moves this arm back and forth, and that has to do the whole thing. It has to move the arm up and over and down. It has to exchange the record. It has to do all that, right? So it's uh, pretty neat. And, uh, it's going to be wonderful having all this information. Uh, you know, if this neural roller is loose, the mechanism may fail to complete cycle. You know, these, these kinds of things. Those are the kind of service notes that you want to know. <laughs> when you're uh, servicing this thing. Um, and again, we get down to the bottom. 
here's all the adjustments again. Oh my gosh, and then exploded view. I'm so happy. <laughs> and then a parts list. So all the things I need, right? So if I need a replacement part, and I already have identified a few that I need, where do you get them? No problem. Apply to your RCA distributor for prices for your replacement parts. <laughs> of course, there is no RCA distributor, but there is actually an RCA distributor. 2020 surprise surprise it's called ebay and look what i found i found the rubber tire for the cam i decided i didn't need that after all it's not uh, engaging good enough with the wheel why not put some new rubber on it right so here we go found on ebay for seven dollars and 99 cents a little american flag hello <laughs> made in america i love it and uh sally jeffries is the uh eBay seller, and uh, while I was there, I noticed an idler wheel, and uh, it's a little expensive, $40, that's almost as much as I paid for the whole record player, uh, but you know what, this thing looks really well made, it's uh, machined in aluminum, it's got, uh, looks like a ring there, standard a ring you could probably replace, no big deal, it replaces this part. That's going to be really nice on there with that aluminum, and, uh, and it's got uh, bearings inside. It's going to have new bearings. Um, it's going to spin really nice. So the one I've got <laughs> doesn't spin very well, and uh, I'm concerned that it's not engaging with the motor good enough and, and spinning the thing. And it, it's, it's almost certainly not going to do what I need to do. This thing's got to carry all the energy. It just not only has to spin the disc at a consistent speed, but it also has to carry the energy and work the whole mechanism, right? This, this, this is the idler wheel. Uh, it's kind of like a flywheel that's, that's, that's kind of storing energy as well, right? So, uh, and having this thing with a little bit of weight on it, it's going to be good. So, um, and they say they've got 400 customers, I think it said. <laughs> yeah, more than 400 uh, wheels uh, that they've got, got out there. So, you know, a lot of people are servicing these things apparently. <laughs> And I'm one of them now, and uh, so I'm pretty happy I'm going to get this. I think it's going to be worth the investment. We'll find out, I guess, when it gets here. Um, last but not least, I ended up buying, also on eBay, uh, the amplifier rebuild kit. I wasn't going to do that at first because some of these parts I can get a lot cheaper uh, by myself. Uh, just, uh, you know, buying the parts and I can buy a kit with a lot of other parts as well. Uh, but there's a couple of these parts that are not so cheap, um, even like on Amazon and stuff, you start getting the 5 10 $20 a piece. And uh, so pretty soon, you're pretty close to the cost of this kit, uh, you know, and you end up with more parts than you need, but uh, <laughs> you end up paying as much anyway, and you still got to go get the motor grommets. And here, we got the motor grommets included. <laughs> so here's all the capacitors I need, all the resistors I need, and the motor grommets. Um, you know, I can rebuild the whole amplifier with this, right? So I've decided uh, to go ahead and buy this. Um, I've also decided that the transformer is okay. Uh, I think it is anyway. I haven't tested it or anything, but just, you know, visually inspecting it, it looks like it's fine. So um, I think it's going to be all right. The pots probably are okay. Not that, well, there's only one. There's no volume of the pot. Um, it doesn't feel scratchy or anything. Um, you know, I won't know until I really hook it up if it's any good. I haven't tried to own it out or anything, but because everything's still soldered onto it, but uh, I'll be checking that out as I go. Um, you know, worst case, I could get a new pot, but I think I'll be able to clean that and get it working pretty good. So I think this will be all I need to buy. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> cross my fingers uh, to get this thing up and running. So, meanwhile, I've got a few days while uh, I wait for this stuff to come. Uh, so uh, while I'm uh, waiting for it, I'll. Uh, Better get to scrubbing the, uh, getting to scrubbing it up because it's pretty dirty and <laughs> it certainly needs clean.